And yes, there are books in the, in the spirit world. There are homes. There are gardens. There are... Music. Mu there's music. There's art. There's all of these things that you think are possibly not there. They're all there. What is a house for a spirit? They're in different dimensions. Sorry? What is a house for... Is that a spirit or house then? Or is it a... No, if, if you... It depends what your condition is. So if your condition is like you're a murderer and a and really angry man and whatever, you probably won't even have a house. Um, there's a location in the spirit world. No, be careful there. A spirit is something you can't touch because the material that you have is very dense in the in the way that it's uh, constructed. And it's to do with the vibration of your physical body that causes it to look solid to you at the moment. To a spirit, your body does not look solid. They can actually see the flow of, they can see the organs and even if down to the flow of electrons, uh, they can actually see it flowing. They can see the energy emanating out of your body as well. They can actually smell it as well. So, spirits have... Um, the best way to explain it is like this. Here's the half of your soul, right? Here's your spirit form. Here's your material form. And I'm oh, sorry, I better do the dress thing for you, sorry. So here's your material body. And here's your spirit body. Most people believe that when you pass from a material world into a spirit world, that you have less sensory apparatus. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah. Most people believe that you have some kind of limitations imposed upon you by passing. The truth is actually quite the opposite. Every part of you has greater senses than the previous part. So your material body, we often say, has five senses, right? The spirit body has many more senses, and the soul is much more powerful again. And then if we look at the complete soul, that is much more powerful again. So anything you can conceive now on earth is going to be very, very different in the spirit world, but better, not worse. Except if you're in the hells, then it's worse, isn't it? Um, well, I don't know. It's exactly the place where they want to be. But they feel gross and everything, like some of those books. Certainly. Say the, material, the spirit body, when a person passes into the hells, is a reflection of their soul condition. And if their soul condition is quite ugly in the sense of disharmonious with love, then their spirit form looks ugly. And that's why you have people who look like, like monsters coming to people. Sometimes children often say, there's a monster under my bed and all those kind of things. And they, really, they feel it's real because they've actually seen it. And it's a spirit in that condition. So children really do see spirits? Oh yes, for sure. All of you can see spirits. Just you just down. don't want it. <laughs> At the moment, there's a feeling or an emotion in the soul that turns that off. 